Welcome. This question says an LRC circuit consists of a 0.2 Henry inductor, a 4 ohm resistor, and a 6 microfarad capacitor. What is the resonant frequency of this tuning circuit? So let's just imagine the circuit is my AC power supply variable uh, frequency, and here's my inductor, and then here's my resistor, and then here's my capacitor and my inductor equals 0.2 Henry and my resistor equals 4 ohms and my capacitor is equal to 6 microfarads and well, what I know is that I know that my inductive reactance is equal to L uh, omega L, sorry, and I know my capacitive reactance is equal to 1 over omega C. So uh, omega is the frequency and L is the induction, so this is the resistance, the frequency dependent resistance caused by the inductor. As I change my frequency, I change my resistance. This is my frequency dependent resistance caused by my capacitor and under normal operation when I have uh, uh, to consider my circuit the, the thing that's a little bit odd is that my resistance can be regarded as like a phaser over to one side and my inductive reactance is a, is a vertical phaser and my capacitive reactance is a downwards pointing uh, phaser and so these guys are out of phase the inductive reactance is always ahead of the resistance by 90 degrees and the resistance is always ahead of the uh, capa uh, the uh, capacitive reactance by 90 degrees and basically these two guys fight each other and if the inductive reactance wins then my resultant impedance is up in this direction somewhere and if the inductive capacitance is bigger than my uh, in, uh, if my uh, if my uh, um, capacitive reactance is bigger than my inductive reactance then the, the thing is somewhere down there and at resonance these two reactances cancel each other out and so my resonant frequency is the frequency where these two guys cancel each other out so I can say well omega is equal to, it's going to be, uh, I'm sorry, I can say at my at resonance XL is going to be equal and opposite to XC so I can say omega L is going to equal 1 over omega C and so I get omega is the omega squared is equal to 1 over LC so I get the omega is equal to 1 over the square root of LC. So I put my uh, inductive, my capacitive, my inductive reactance uh, opposed to my capacitive reactance. I put down the two forms involving frequency for those. I rearranged and I got this, this result. So my, and we call it the, for resonance, we call it omega zero. So omega zero, let's go to a different colored pen so we can see this. Omega zero in this case is equal to one over the square root of L and L is 0 0.2 times C and C is 6 times 10 to the minus 6. And so what does that equal? Well, let's have a look. I'm going to get 0.2 times second that's times uh, um, point two times six second e to the minus six equals that and then I find the square root of that and then I invert that I go into my calculations I've got nine hundred and thirteen 
it's going to be in radians per second. There's about six radians to one cycle, so remember that omega equals 2 pi f, so f is equal to omega over 2 pi. So f naught, the frequency in hertz, is equal to 913 over 2 pi, which equals 913 divided by 2, enter, divided by pi, enter. And I'm getting 145 hertz. Both those answers are right. Uh, I remember when I began, I always felt more comfortable in hertz than I, I did in radians per second. But that was familiarity. You know, as I've gone on more and more, I, I tend to leave things in radians per second a lot more than I ever used to do. Um, so this is the frequency at which you will get minimum impedance, the minimum resistance for your circuit. If you go to a higher frequency, then the inductor is going to give you additional resistance which will minimize your signal. If you go to lower frequency, then the capacitor is going to give you additional resistance that will minimize your signal. So this is the sweet spot, this is the frequency at which you get a resistance and the resistance is actually only equal to the resistor of the resistor. These are the two components do not contribute to the impedance of the circuit when you're at the resonant frequency. So it's a very nice tuning circuit. The inductor is a low pass filter the capacitor is a high pass filter and somewhere in between there's the resonance frequency and we found that just now. So there we have it.